In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set work for students by creating assignments. So you need to navigate to the top where it says classwork. When you see here, though, this will all be blank. I've got an existing classroom here, so you can see um, some examples. But when you click create, there are six options. The first one is a topic. A topic gives it a heading so that it might be a theme. So for instance, I've been doing about managing change of financial processes. And so everything that I tag with that topic will fit underneath that heading, help students stay organized. Most of what you will do is by using this element called assignment here. So once you click that, it'll ask you to give it a title. So I am uh, a little bit particular about what I want to happen here. So I'm going to, I always have a hashtag 001 so that people know which, which number task it is. And what we're going to do here is we're going to look at understanding how to motivate initial ideas. I'm going to say, please add your initial thoughts to the questions on the attached file. So what I can now do is I either I can create a brand new document from scratch by clicking this and all the different options for Google op uh, Google tools come here or I can add one from my drive or from my computer. So if I want to select files from my device, um, that I can see obviously my network drives, my documents, I can do it from there. Or I can go into recent files or Google Drive. I'm going to pick a recent one. I'm going to pick this assignment here. So this document is set up understanding leadership assignment one. Um, I can then give students the option either to view the file, which means that all they can do is look at it. They can't edit it. They can't change it. They can't share it. They don't have their own copy. Or if I click that drop down box, I can make it so that they can edit it. So they're all working on the same document at once, or I can make a copy for each student, which is what I'm going to do here. If you make a copy for each student, what it will do is the naming conventions here will say Katie Wright dash understanding leadership assignment one, Edward Folds dash understanding leadership assignment one. What it will do is it'll allow you to have an understanding and an oversight of individual students work. What's really nice about that is it also goes into the student's drive and they know which is their work and which is other people's work. Over on the right hand side, I've then got to determine who it's going to be for and when it's going to be due. So I can either make that go to multiple classes or just the one by clicking here. So I can check those boxes if I want to, or I can make it go to individual students or all students. So if I only want it to go to uh, a couple of students, I can do that as well. So I'm just going to pick some random people that I know work at Burnley College. So one worry about me sending this to them so i can set a due date when i want it to be and it goes into uh, and sets them a due date gives them reminders to want it on then um, and i can set a topic and this is the organizational things that i was talking about earlier so i might want to say that this is going to go in your organization so that's how i can create an assignment i can then either send it to them directly straight away so assign it to them then it goes into their stream and they get a notification I can schedule it to go at a certain time or I can save it in drafts if I want to sign that earlier. 